The Safra Singapore Bay and Army Half Marathon. It's a very long name which no one remembers. Most of us will know it as the Army Half Marathon or AHM for short. This year's race was held on a Sunday, 27 August. And here is my story of how I ran my personal best, 21k. About two months prior to the race, I was contacted by Armour's competitive team to represent them for AHM. So I went for the Armour 21km time trial. I ran only a 1 hour 39 minute, which put me in their second team. Um, by the way, the first team is really very fast. The top two guys ran 1 hour 12 minute, and a third guy ran 1 hour 16 minutes. So I'm not even close to their timing. So I'm happy to be in the second team. So there's less pressure on my shoulders. So to give you some context, I'm a short distance runner, excelling better in 2.4 and 5k. My 2.4 personal best is 7 minutes 44 and there's a video for that on my channel. Usually I slow down during the last part of a 10k so I've never done below 39 minutes for a 10k before. But basically my long distance sucks because I don't really have super high mileage in my legs. So one week before the race, I decided to do my first 80km week. And that was the week I pretended to be a freshman at SMU Athletics Freshman Trials. You can also see the video on my channel as well. On that Thursday, I wanted to do a 3x4k workout, but the weather was cold and nice and I did a 12k straight at 4 minutes pace. I honestly never felt that good before, so that really gave me a boost of confidence. Um, I could have kept running, but the stadium was closing, so what a shame. So let's go on to race day. I set my alarm at 2.16am and got maybe a total of 3 hours of sleep during the night. I cycled to the race venue at the Singapore Sports Hub, where I met with the armor team, received my bib number and put on the timing chip and also the armor singlet. While the team went for a 10 minute warm up job, which was led by our national marathon runner So Young, I went to the washroom for a nice long poop. After that, I passed my phone and GoPro to one of the armor personnel and we headed to the start line. The start line was quite far from where we were, about 1 to 2 kilometers away on Nickel Highway, but it was a good distance for a warm up job. At 4.15 am, there were already many people queuing up at the start line, but there was an express lane where the division competitive teams could take to walk right to the front. So I stood about 3 people behind the front, so, and I could see Bryce, Josh Lee, Rayong, Najib, Sherman around me, all of whom are way faster than me, so I don't know what I was doing so far in front at the start line. The announcer was trying to hype us up and told us to raise our hands and wave, but from my point of view, I couldn't see anyone doing that. The gun went off sharply at 4.30am in the morning, the front runners blasted off, like seriously I couldn't believe it, they shot off even faster than the start of 5k events. I kept telling myself, the first k doesn't matter, just let your leg swing, don't even have a single hard step. I was still shocked that my first km on my watch was 4.02 pace. That felt really easy so I told myself just keep relaxing, breathe deep and draft others. Thankfully I was in a pack of 10-ish guys where I could draft. By the first turn to Marina Bay, some of the guys had dropped and the group was reduced to about 3 or 4. I was running with Fabian, a fellow runner from Armour and was running for Team 1. Remember I was Team 2 so he was probably thinking I was going too fast and would eventually drop off. Although we didn't say a word to each other during the race, it was super encouraging to run with a teammate. Fabian and I were catching a lot of people who had started off too fast. As I moved from one group to the next, Fabian was always on my 6. He used me as a pacer and I'm glad he stuck with me because I probably would have dropped the pace if I was running alone. Then 1km is really a long long run. From Marina Bay to Gardens by the Bay to Fort Road, the kilometers tick by easily. I remember someone said before the race that the first 10 kilometers should feel super easy, and that's how I felt. And I used that to judge my effort for the race. I was running well and even dipped below 4 minutes per km for some of the kilometers. The stretch on East Coast Park was about 3 kilometers out and 3 kilometers back. During the turn, I caught a glimpse of Josh Lee, so I thought if I maintained the pace, I could catch him. Nope, that was the last time I saw him during the race. But I caught Sherman and Bryce around the 13 km and the 4 of us with Fabian ran together for the rest of the race. Honestly, looking at Sherman and Bryce's strides, it didn't look like they were going hard. It was super smooth as if they had just started the race. They weren't breathing hard at all. At 17km around Gardens East flyover, this guy, I don't know his name, caught up to us strong and he was pushing the pace faster and faster. I tried following him since the race was almost over. My next 2 kilometers were one of the fastest during the race at 3.53 and 3.56 minutes per km. At this point, Bryce, Sherman and Fabian were dropped. 
he was super strong and pulled away from me around 19 plus km. I had 2k left to go and finally my legs were starting to really hurt. There was even a bridge at 20km which exacerbated the pain in my legs. I definitely slowed down after the bridge and Sherman caught me. As he passed me, he told me to Tiayo but I couldn't respond, in both speech and pace. He still looked strong. I let both of them go even though I continued to push hard. I knew it was going to be my 21km personal best so I just had to dig. The finish line was inside the stadium so I was super happy when I made the turn to the stadium entrance. I gave it a last push to the finish line. My net time was 1 hour 21 minutes and 51 seconds, a new personal best by 8 full minutes. And I even surprised myself that it was under 4 minutes pace, 3 minutes 58 pace. My last minute training really paid off, it turns out I was 20th position, only 10 seconds behind Sherman and Fabian came in 38 seconds behind me. Upon finishing, we were given the finisher t-shirt, towel, a banana, 100 plus drink, the finisher medal and a cold towel. However, I couldn't go home yet because they told me since I got 20th position, I gotta wait to collect the prize. Turns out, after waiting for so long, the prizes were only for the top 15 positions, so I don't know why they told me to wait. I could have gone home 3 hours earlier. Anyway, I also waited for the other armor guys to finish and waited for the team prize presentation, which armor got third in the team category. Ray Yong did 1 hour 12 flat and John did 1 hour 12 43 seconds. It was an amazing result for me and I learned a couple of things that could probably help you guys too. I think the minimum mileage a week to race a 21k is at least 80km. That's what I did for only one week, perhaps if I had done 90 or more. I wouldn't have suffered the last 2km as much, who knows. But if you want to race a 21km well, you obviously need to run high mileage weeks. If you want to race fast and comfortably, you should be doing high mileage consistently. So not like me. <laughs> Another thing I learned is that in training, I should probably do faster than race pace efforts for at least 16km. 16km or more would be ideal because you need to get used to running long at a hard effort. Uh, also, you need to run faster than race pace so that race pace would feel a lot easier during the race and so that you have some buffer to respond to pace changes during the race. Thank you to everyone who cheered and congratulated me after the race and I think I hit my highest number of kudos in a Strava activity of 97 kudos. So that's an even greater achievement. Finally, a huge thank you to Saucony Singapore for sponsoring the Endorphin Elites I ran in. I'm really glad that I got that extra speed boost. Honestly, even after writing this story, I'm still in denial that I'm now a 121 half marathoner. Still need some time before that sinks in. Okay, so that's my race story and training reflection of the race. Hope it was enjoyable and insightful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next video. Goodbye!